Would you rather be Batman or Iron Man? You're watching episode 4 of Would You Rather. Welcome to our 100th video! 100th video special! Video special! And to express its significance, we got a special guest from internet icon, Karim. Alright Karim, so how, how was your experience like uh, an internet icon? Like how was it like meeting Ryan Higa and all the others? Well, it's Ryan Higa, because he, he will kick your ass if you say Higa, because it happened. Really? It happened, yeah. Um, it was actually, no I'm just kidding, uh, it was actually a great experience and we've met a lot of people there. And it, it was something surreal because you watch these people for so long um, and then you see them right in front of you and you're like this close and they're just chatting with you. So it was a surreal experience for someone who's a big YouTuber like me and really loves YouTube. And Chester C and Lana, you know, it's just so many people, it was just too much to take in. I almost exploded that day, but I managed to survive. So how did you manage with the hate that came from the audience? Oh Lloyd, the hate! <laughs> Obviously we are the, the, the villains and um, as it worked out, editing did a great job making us look like complete assholes on the show and they did a great job. Thank you Yum Yum for the amazing work. Anyways, it, it was uh, something that we just didn't see coming. You know, we put all, all our trust into the leader and he steered the boat. And um, he steered it to where you guys see now. <laughs> so let's get to the first question. All right, I'm excited, Lloyd. Let's do this. So this first question is asked by Atenas, and she says, Would you rather be stranded in the middle of the ocean full of hungry sharks or be stuck in a cage with a lion? Oh, God. Lloyd, you go first. Let's see. If I were stuck in a cage with a lion, I'm probably screwed right there, unless I can tame the lion, but I'm just your average New Yorker, so I'll probably die. So I would have to go with... Uh, Stranded in the middle of the ocean. It's funny because yesterday me and my brother were talking about how much we are afraid of sharks And we just hate them and just looking at them really scares us I would not want to be stranded in water because I don't even know how to swim and I'm afraid of water too So to be afraid of two things no a lion is only one thing so I'll be stranded with a lion I mean I'll be locked up with a lion and I'll try to you know be friends with it and play poker I mean it might it might like blackjack you never know or, or it'll eat my face off all right, so the second question is asked by Ryan, and he says, Would you rather burn to death or drown? Why are they all so violent? <laughs> God, I'll drown to death, because I know fire hurts a lot, and I think drowning, um, you have to go through a certain thing where your brain shuts down first, and then, and then you like pass out or something like that. I would definitely go for drowning. There was this one time when I was on the beach, and I, I went you know, a little bit on the deep side, and then I got cramped, and luckily I had friends to help me, but you know, the water gets in your mouth and stuff. It really, really sucks. So I would have to go with uh, burning to death, because if you burn to death, you know, it burns your skin, then it burns your nerves, so you probably won't feel the pain. So I'd rather burn to death. He made me look really stupid, so I guess I obviously chose the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> He's still coughing up that water from when he drowned. This one is by Erica N. Cortez. Would you rather be trapped in a horror movie or get hit by a car going 100 miles per hour? When I was in second grade in the Philippines, I've actually been hit by a jeep when I was playing tag, so I know how it feels like. It actually didn't really feel that bad, except, you know, I kind of hurt my foot. So I'd rather um, get hit by a car because if I die, I'll just die instantaneously. And if I were to be in a horror movie, I would probably die a slow, painful death and I'll be scared. You're half dead, dude. <laughs> this guy drowned, he got hit by a car. I got hit by a car too and it was not pretty at all. I definitely will choose a horror video for one simple reason. I'm not black, so I know I have a good chance of not dying. <laughs> So, I, have, I know I have a good chance of not dying soon in the movie. So, I do have, you know, some time to think out and plan out some stuff. Do they... I'm not being racist or anything. I'm, I'm actually from North Africa, so. Alright, next question is by... I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Ayantu Dawa, right? And the question is, would you rather be rich and ugly or poor and good looking? If I were rich and ugly, I would still have a good lifestyle in terms of like health, but I don't know how, it, how I would do socially. Pe people would probably s still like me, but I probably wouldn't get a good looking girlfriend unless I paid her to be like what Justin Bieber does and Kim Kardashian does to get girlfriends and boyfriends or whatever. Use your money for good. First off, 
You see, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So if I was good looking, to some people, I still might be ugly. That's not gonna really help, right? So I definitely would want to be ugly and, you know, rich. You know, where's the money? Yeah. I am kind of ugly now, so I would like some money. You know, but I definitely would love the money because money could do everything. You, you, you'll get the hot girls with the money. Yeah. And don't say, no, it's not everything. Yeah, money is everything. And you can have plastic surgery to make yourself look like Michael Jackson. Come on. Money will sustain your life. I mean, it'll, it'll help you out a lot. I'm, I'm not saying that your life will be perfect, but it will be better than having not a lot of money. Yeah, definitely. It will bring problems, but, you know, it will, you know, dilute some. This question is by Anna Mardia. Would you rather be able to talk to all animals or be able to speak all foreign languages? I think the answer is pretty obvious. I would have to go with speaking all languages. Because if I did speak all the languages in the world, I would get chicks all over the world. Like say you meet like some Colombian chick in Colombia and you want to you know, get good with her, so you'll probably have to speak in Spanish. Uh, I think I would be the same thing. You know, I'm not into bestiality, so I don't know why I would want to talk to animals. You know, I'm a man and we have sexual drive, so I would like to talk every language so I could have a better chance of, you know, seeing all the girls around the world because I'm kind of getting tired of the girl, same old girls from here. So I would love to just go around the world and, and see what they have to offer. Yeah, it'll be good, especially if you know, like, the romance languages like Italian, uh, Spanish, or whatever. I mean, that'll be very impressive to girls, so yeah. Yeah, they, they love that kind of stuff. Me gusta. Next question is by Marie Abu Melhek. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? I think I'd rather know how I'm going to die because if I know, I'll probably cheat death. I'd actually ask myself the same question, so I will choose when. I would like to know when I'm going to die because this way I could live my life doing whatever I want knowing that I won't die. So when that time comes, I know that day is the day I'll, you know, the day I'll die. So I'll do everything I can. Basically YOLO. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm such an idiot for saying that. <laughs> now we definitely should both die. A horrible death. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Drowning or like burning. All right, so the last question for today is asked by Lana. And she says, would you rather be Batman or Iron Man? That's a really hard question because Batman and Iron Man are both rich, so, uh... Um, so I would have to go with Iron Man because, you know, he's super rich and with all that money, he made the, his freaking exoskeletal suit. And then he made Iron Man. And that's pretty badass. I choose Jackie Chan, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I actually would like to choose Batman because he wears awesome tights. It makes his butt look really nice. So... Butts. Yeah, you know, like, and, and you know, it's all about butts here. Uh, do you like butts? Yeah, I do. Me too, man! Oh, yeah! Woo! Yeah, but! But in, in the end, even though he does know hot, you know, women like Catwoman and stuff like that, oh Batgirl and all that, you know, it's, you know, Iron Man, he's just a cocky guy with a lot of money, but he does have some cool equipment. So my choice is... Damn, I think this is, uh, <laughs> this is really tough. I, I think we're at a draw here. Do we, like... Do we get murdered after we leave the show if we don't answer the question, or...? I'll just choose Iron Man, because he can fly. He has the ability to fly. Yes! Iron Man, yes! Alright, so last week we asked you a question, and it was, Would you rather go on a date with Poison Ivy or Catwoman? And here's what you guys said. Now it's our turn to give you a question. Would you rather choose The Amazing Spider-Man or The Dark Knight as the best summer film of the year? Put your response on the comment section below and your question may be featured in our next video. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel right over there. And as for me, you can subscribe to my channel right over here. You can watch our latest episode right over here and right over here you can watch my latest vlog. Don't forget to check out our Facebook and Twitter down below on the description. I'm Kareem. I'm Lloyd. And to all our fellow slackers, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.